Hey guys, it's Elle here, back with another video. As you can tell though, this is not a trekking video. This is City Skylines. And the reason we're doing City Skylines today is because I've kind of hit a, um, a ugh, no pun intended, but a roadblock with my trekking videos. I kind of, I've not lost inspiration. I'm just having a hard time finding it, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, so I'm going back to a game that I love. Um, I'm not good at it, so don't get your hopes up that this is going to be a beautiful, booming city. Um, it might just be a, a sad, desolate wasteland, but we're going to give things a go. Um, we are in the map of Sandy Beach, and it's, you know, it's a typical beach map. Um, someone said, I just heard this. Someone said that it's based off of San Francisco, which now I can't get out of my brain, but you know, it is what it is. Um, I didn't realize that San Francisco was such a uh, tropical place. You can see all the, uh, I almost said pine trees. These are palm trees. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know how accurate that is to say that it is based off of San Francisco, but who knows for sure. Only the game developers. Um, so you can see that we're starting off with a very small plot of land. Um, we do have an ore deposit over here, which we'll be utilizing at some point in the future. Um, we don't have really any farmland. Um, the lighter spaces on the map you can see are where farmland is best. Like over here, we've got a ton of it. So my plans for the future um, is to expand out this way build a bridge over to this peninsula, and then make this a farming area, which then will expand into like big city area, big city attractions. Um, but it, it's gonna take us a while before we get there. Um, but we do have a nice coast here, it gives us water access. Um, you know, eventually when we get big enough, we'll have the ability to um, use cargo ships and harbors and things like that. But first things first, we got to start. <laughs> we got to start with our grid. And I'm going to do a basic grid at first. And then it'll be kind of our, like, old town, if you will. Um, actually, before I get started, I just want to address a few things. Um, you'll notice that you don't hear any of the game audio. I turned it down because I the music for me gets kind of annoying. It's very repetitive. Um, the gameplay music with like the city, the bustling city, and the sirens and all of that kind of stuff. It's not my favorite thing. Um, I have added music to the background of this video though to try and keep it um, not so boring and quiet. But if you guys want the audio of the game, just let me know and I'll add it back in. No big deal. Uh, the other thing is, I'm not working with any mods. It'll be a completely vanilla game. Um, I do have base game and a couple expansion packs that I'll be utilizing. I don't have every single one, so you won't see, um, you know, everything that I could possibly be using. Uh, and then the last thing is I, I have the day and night cycle turned off. I don't enjoy playing at nighttime. Um, it's just, it's harder to see. And especially when you don't have a big city yet, it just, it's, kind of boring to be honest so we're going to keep the daytime on for now in the future we might turn on the night cycle once we build up a little bit but until then it'll be daytime all the time <laughs> kind of like how i like it so let's get started we will start off by building a road so you can see we go to our road tool here we have one road option available to us everything else is locked um but once we place this road everything else not everything but we do have a few options unlocked so i'm just gonna connect these two um you'll see why in a minute but this opens up the option of you know some two-way one-way roads and gravel roads and some limited highway roads none of this is up is open we do have a traffic circle available no toll roads yet and no pedestrian paths yet so like I said, we're limited. We're going to take the cheapest option, though, because we only have $70,000 to begin with. 
and in the grand scheme of things it's not a lot to start a city with so we're going to do things as cheaply as possible um, until we're able to upgrade so what i'm going to do is the reason i connected these two and i'll delete this road soon it's just to give me um, a middle point to start off with um, i just find it easier and so i'm going to bring this down a little bit um may actually you know what I have a better idea that just came into my brain. I am gonna utilize the traffic circle. Cause I feel like this will be um, the easiest option starting off just to create less of a traffic mess. Cause traffic's gonna be crazy. It might not be crazy right away, but it'll get there. So we just don't want that happening um, right now. We're actually gonna delete that little dirt road and find our, our uh, one-way road options. So we're gonna go down here to this freeform road tool, bring this down, connect it there, do the same thing over here, and then we are just gonna use this tool here, right-click that road, and it'll flip it to make it, you know, go the opposite way. And then we'll delete that connector right there. So this is gonna give us a nice starting point. It'll give us, um, access points to our industry, our, you know, old town area, and eventually our downtown area, which I think might come off of this drag here. Our industry area, I think we're going to focus over here because that's where the ore deposits are, and it'll just make things easier if we keep industry in one area, especially closer to the highway. So what I think I'm going to do is start our grid for our first neighborhood. And we don't have areas or anything unlocked yet, so we can't name it, we can't give it any sort of um, policies yet, but eventually we will. All right, so I am gonna keep the snaps on just for now, just to make the gridding easier. Um, and I'm gonna bring this up, 200. Now I wanna do 12 by 15. I like that grid system the best. Um, it just helps, you know, utilize the most land, I think, personally. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. We are going to, you can see that it costs $300 to go one way and $240 to go the other way. So we're just going to make that grid system real quick. Um, and it'll be a good it'll be a good basis hopefully it'll help especially when we get the specialty buildings a lot of them fit nicely in these in these squares so it'll definitely help out with that too oh, hopefully okay so I'm gonna start off with that for now and then what I'm gonna do this will be our neighborhood this will be our residential area and our commercial area can be, you know, right down the center. This will be the first kind of like Broadway sort of thing. Maybe Main Street, I'm not sure yet. But we're gonna do something similar over here for our industry area. We're gonna do the same type of grid, the 12 by 15, um, but we're gonna make it so that it doesn't go south of this line here. So we're just gonna keep it all, um, relatively north as much as we can um, with the restrictions and guidelines that we have. And that's probably good for starting out with the industry area. Eventually, like I said, we will expand over here, but that'll come at a later time. So next, we want to add in some water and electricity because that's going to be needed very quickly. Um, first thing to note is um, you don't want to put your water tank, or I guess water tower, anywhere near your, your industry because as the land becomes polluted, it'll get into your water system and it'll make all of your citizens very unhealthy. Um, and a lot of them will die real quick. So we don't want that to happen. I'm gonna turn that off for a minute just to make this easy to get around. Okay. Now we'll turn the snaps back on. But yeah, 
I ran, when I first started this game, I ran into an issue where everybody was getting sick and I could not figure out why. But it was because the I had the water tank like right in this general area and the whole thing was polluted, killed a lot of my citizens and you know, the rest is history, I suppose. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go let's see. I guess I'm gonna go just straight up. I'm just gonna pick a place. Actually, you know what? I'll go straight up here. Take that water tank and stick it right there. Just makes it easier. And then what I'll do is I will plan out what we're gonna be doing for electricity. Now you can see the dark areas are um, the best place to put any wind turbines that you have. We're not going to start off with this, it's just way too expensive and the upkeep is expensive for now, but we will convert to that eventually. Right now though the most practical thing is I think these wind turbines. Um, we can stick a couple up here on the hill and that will generate um, enough power to get us going for now. We do need some power lines though to connect up, so we're just going to run those right here. And then once the industry takes off, it'll, uh, the, the power should, um, connect over here. So, all right, there we go. Um, actually, now that I'm thinking about this, let me, I'm actually going to take this down run this over here for now we this isn't going to be a forever solution so don't worry about this right now we will take care of that when we um, are able to all right so we have our power we have our water set but we don't have sewage quite yet what i'm going to do because i think that these things are disgusting i hate these water outlets i just i've never seen that in real life and i just think it's gross so I think what we're going to do is use the inland water treatment plant and we're just going to put this over here um, just far enough away from the community where it won't hurt them um, because I don't again this this will cause pollution and I just you know not into that right now and then we'll have to connect this somehow well, we'll just do, we'll do one of those. Like I said, this is not going to be a forever thing. I actually hate the way this is looking right now, so bear with me for one second while I figure this out. Okay, it still doesn't look great, but we're going to keep it there for now just to get things started. Uh, so now we're going to zone. And the very first thing that we're going to zone is residential. So you can tell that is our only need at the moment. And so we are going to take care of that. Just going to um, use our little paint tool here and start just blocking that in. Now I am going to leave this area right here alone for now um, because I want that to be um, commercial zoning. I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. And while I'm at it, I am just going to add a little connecting commercial area here just to hopefully connect the power. All right, so let's uh, turn this on and see, see what happens. We do have some growth already, as you can see. Got some people moving in. Now we are losing some money down here as you can see, but it's just, that'll happen at the start. Once more people get in and once they start working and everything like that happens, we'll start gaining more, hopefully. <laughs> I say hopefully because I have no idea for sure. Now it's saying our population right now is zero, which I'm not quite understanding. Because people are moving in, so I don't understand how there's no, um, no population yet, but that'll grow soon, hopefully. And look at these little houses, they're so cute. I love it. 
Now this person's probably not gonna love that their water tank is right behind their house, but you know, sometimes you just have to deal with, what is this little guy? He's so cute. Um, all right. I'm loving these houses. That one is adorable. <laughs> I thought this is so cute. All right, so we're gonna let that go for a second. We do have um, population growing up here a little bit and our other needs are starting to form. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help that out by just painting the rest of that commercial zone. And we're gonna start adding some industry over here. So we're just gonna do this one big block of industry just to get that going for now. And I actually, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to rename this because I don't like Los Palma even though it probably means the palms, which I love palm trees, but um, I'm gonna give it a different name. So this is a beach community. So I think, oh, what do I wanna call it? Aqua Bay, is that too like, I don't know, on the nose? Or maybe I could do Palm Bay. Yeah, let's do Palm Bay. If I decide to change it um, later, I will, I will do that. Palm Bay. Okay, so you can see industry is building up quite nicely. Um, our population has gone down just a touch, but it'll be better, it'll get better. Industry just has to pick up a little bit. Um, the first little while of this game can be a little terrifying because you'll see that population go down and up and down and up uh, quite a bit. Um, but don't worry, just stay positive and you'll get there. So we'll just build up our industry to here. And having the industry so close to the highway is good. It'll give it like quick highway access to get out of here. And then it won't hopefully interfere with this over here. You won't have the trucks and stuff going down roads where they shouldn't be. All right, so we're, oh, and it's raining. Lovely. Like I said, I do have, or no, I don't know if I said this, I do have the Disasters Expansion Pack turned on, so we might get things like typhoons, earthquakes, sinkholes, tornadoes, tidal waves, which I hate. I shouldn't say tidal waves, tsunamis. The tsunamis make me so upset because you work so hard on your city, and then a tsunami comes and you can't really do anything to stop it, um, and then it destroys everything, and then you're left... Uh, defeated basically. Alright, so we're going to let this run for just another minute. Um, kind of speed it up here. Let the population grow up a little bit. Hopefully it's going down right now. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just let it run for a minute while we get some stuff picked up. All right, so we are built up. We, whoops, we've got over um, 400 people in our town right now. To get to the first, whoops, that's not what I wanted. To get to the first um, level achievement to Little Hamlet, you need 500 people in your city. And I'm noticing that we need residential. The demand is getting pretty high. So we're gonna just add some more residential zoning in fix that and then that should help to bring our population up to where we need it. Now we are just going to go right across here and we are there more than likely will be road or houses in the way of where we need roads to go. We'll just have to deal with that uh, you know when we uh, get there. So like right here I'm going to have to bulldoze a house which not the best idea to do but sometimes it's necessary just to, you know, make room for more people. I think what I'm gonna do is go up like this and connect it there, just so it doesn't, you know, we won't have to get rid of our um, water tower for right now. So it might look a little crazy, uh, but that's it's gonna work out. It's gonna be just fine. Don't you worry. All right, and we're just gonna get rid of some of those houses, kick people out of their homes, 
And don't forget, whenever you expand, you have to make sure that your water goes with it. So you don't want people running out of water. Or else that is bad news for our city. Alright, so now let's get some more zoning in there. We'll do zoning up here. That's a little square full of nothing. That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> that was a weird way for that to go. Um, Alright, so we'll connect all of that. We'll do the same thing right down here. Okay. So that should help us out. We're almost at that mark, at the little hamlet mark. And we'll be there uh, just a minute. Our commercial is doing okay. Um, our industry demand is going up just a little bit, so we're just gonna add some more zoning in there just to keep on top of that. All right, and we are steady at 83, or 483, excuse me, citizens. We're just gonna speed up until we get to that little hamlet. And there you go. That was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. So this gives us a few things. It gives us taxes, loans, garbage facilities, healthcare, education, and all the necessary buildings to go with that. Um, I, I am, however, going to leave that here uh, as the first episode. If you guys like this, oh, you can see the garbage demand is starting to pile up. Um, if you guys like this uh, kind of series, let me know and I'll continue it. Um, again, it's not trucking, but it is technically a simulation game. Um, if you like this, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when all my videos are coming out. I am going to try and stick with a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday schedule. Sometimes it might differ, but that's what I'm going to try and stick to. Um, again, please give me a follow, subscribe, do all the things, find my social medias, and until the next video, guys, have a good one. Bye.